The information in the book is geared for people with any kind of chronic pain. I personally suffer from migraines and other kinds of headaches, but it's not specific at all. It's just to anybody who carries around that, that invisible pain. You know, we don't walk around with canes that much. We don't have our arms in a sling. We're not in a wheelchair, but we have that same kind of agony that really, it, I wouldn't say it's a disability, but it's certainly a disadvantage in life as well as in traveling. <laughs> People keep asking me if I really rode a camel in the desert because I guess because I drew so many of them in the book. Uh, no, I, I have ridden on a camel and in fact on an elephant, but that was when I was 12 years old at the Peterborough County Fair in Ontario. No, it's just a dream of mine. I, I would love to go on a camel ride, you know, the camel train and sleep in Bedouin tents. I just think that'd be amazing. But really, uh, no, it's not gonna happen. I mean, I could barely stay on the back of a motorcycle for 3,000 miles with a bad headache. I can't even imagine being in the desert with 125 degree heat. Some things you've just gotta say, not in this life. As a cartoonist, I find humor in almost everything. Um, the good, the bad, the ugly, and pretty well anything people do is funny eventually, including the missteps and the pratfalls. Uh, you know, I can't help seeing the humor in things, even in my own life. And, and when I do stupid things or ridiculous things or I see other people doing them, it's almost an obsession. I have to draw it. And really, that's how the cartoons ended up being in the book. I started writing the book just in text. And even I got bored with it, and I'm writing it, so I started drawing instead. And the drawings picked up the text. It, it had a really good effect on both of them. So yeah, with over 100 cartoons in the book, it made it so that I could do the text a lot shorter, just keep it clear, simple, here are the tips, here's a laugh. And as it turns out, Reader's Digest was right all along. Laughter really is the best medicine. And I picked travel because I think if you can get up and get out of your chair and get out of your house and go somewhere, you're gonna feel a whole lot better about your whole life. If you can travel with chronic pain, you can pretty well do anything. And we can all do everything if we just say, yes, I'm not gonna sit in my house anymore. No, I'm not gonna just lie around feeling horrible and making everybody else around me feel horrible. Get out there.